I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss another method of solving discount on discount problems. The question here is a $480 camera was put on sale for 30% off. It didn't sell so the price was lowered an additional percent off the sale price making the new price $285.60. What was the second percent discount that was given? That's the question for you. So to begin with, the cost of the camera is $480. Let's try to understand first. So the cost is $480. Now on this cost, we are offering discount. So we have a discount of 30%, right? So one way is you can calculate 30% of 480, take away that value to get the price after discount, right? The other way is to find the discounted price directly. And this is what we are going to learn here, right? So, so let me write down the price here, uh, which is, uh, let's say discounted price, right? Let me write discounted price. Now, when I'm writing that discounted price directly, what we need to understand is that discount is 30%. So therefore, you pay 70% of the whole cost. Do you understand? 100 minus 30, 70% of the whole cost is being paid. So the discounted price is 480 times 70% or 0 0.70. You get an idea, right? So one way is go direct like this, right? That approach helps to quickly get the equations and solve questions, especially when we are working with multiple choice questions. Now let's further read. It did sell, so the price was lowered, an additional percent of sale price. So now again, we have a discount, right? So on this again, let's say discount is X percent, right? Now it says, New price is 285.60. Now, what is the new price? After this discount of X percent on existing price of 480 times 0 0.70, we have a discount of X percent. So the new price should be 480 times 0 0.70 times 1 minus X percent, right? 1 minus x percent. Do you understand? So, so that is how we could actually get an equation. And this price is given to us as 285.60, which should be equals to 285.60. I hope you understand the approach, right? So, so that is our approach to solve. So we get one equation and from there we can actually find the answer, right? So uh, let's try to answer it using this formula. So we have 480 times 70 percent is also 1 minus 30 percent, right? That is 70 percent, 0 0.70 times 1 minus x percent is equals to 285.60, right? So from here we get 1 minus x percent is indeed equal to 285. 60 divided by 480 times 0 0.70. So let's calculate this value. So it is 285.6 divided by 480 and then divided by 0.7. We get 17 over 20, which is equal to 0 0.85, correct? So from here, we know 1 minus X percent is 0.85. Now we can rearrange. So we get 1 minus 0.85 as x percent. That is the discount, right? 1 minus 0.85 is 15 percent, right? Is 0.15. Right? So that is the that is the discount, right? So we can say this discount is 15 percent, right? So so that is the discount which is being offered so that the price becomes 285.60, right? So I hope you understand the strategy. 
if we work like this, we can quickly find solutions to some complicated questions on person where we may have discount on discount or combination of markup and discount. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to understand the very basic concept. Thank you and all the best.